Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new palette bingo for you with a palette that I apparently have never done a palette bingo with. I don't know when I got this palette. It's been a while. I did not write the, the date on. Usually I'll write, you know, date on when I got it. Didn't do it with this one, but I remember I did not get it on launch day. So it was a bit after. Anyways, this is the, the Child palette by Colourpop. So the Mandalorian Baby Yoda palette. And I have used this before. This is what it looks like. First off, I dropped it, so this shadow fell out. And then this I used. It was a very beautiful pearly shimmer shade that I used in the inner corner and all over the lid, which is a liner. Absolutely gorgeous. It was before I did my How Will Dust Perform, because usually I do those videos before I fully use a shadow up. So I only have uh, 7 out of 9 shadows that I can choose from right now. I think I'm gonna be able to make a nice look. I hope so. And just from the look of it, now, you know, I remember what these two look like. It's actually a palette that I would repurchase because I like green, grungy earth tones. You know what I mean? So yeah, just from the looks of it, it would be a palette that I would purchase. From the performance, I don't know. So anyways, if you don't know how palette bingo works, you pick a palette or two or three and then you pick usually five shades, B-I-N-G-O. Usually I only pick four because I'm not that good at makeup and I feel like uh, the more shadow I have, the bigger the mess will be. I'm happy I'm doing these How Will This Perform videos, but I'm also sad that I didn't do it with this one. Anyways, let's get started. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's how I'm gonna pick them. Oh, look how cute this is. Cute as in the galaxy. Oh, God. Anyways, pick a number between one and seven. That would be five. Five, that is a little frog. That's a, a cocky matte with the glitter in. They also have one in the, it's my pleasure palette, the purple one. It's also a matte with glitter in. I'm not really a fan of these shades. So for me, the worst formula from Colourpop is the glitter one. Like the, the straight up glitter, followed by this one. I just, I don't know, I just don't really like it. But we're gonna make it work. Pick a number between one and seven. The answer is two. That will be just like a tattooing, tattooing. I watched the first three Star Wars movies, which I think are the sequels to the following three Star Wars movies. I'm not sure, but the I watched the first three. That's it. I never watched The Mandalorian. I have no idea. Anyways, that's a, a matte brown. <laughs> Very powdery. Pick a number between one and seven. The answer is one. Uh, right hand Mando. Uh, okay, okay. Pick a number between one and seven. The answer is four. So that is baby face, which is a gorgeous shade. It's like a pastel e green. What am I supposed to do with this? Like seriously, I know how well you can see. I mean, the pigmentation is there. Yes, was also not that great. You know, it's funny because if you blow on it. <laughs> The glitter from this shade here is just falling off. It's gonna roll with it. Should I, should I use this mirror or should I use the Baby Yoda mirror, which I also have? And I know you heard me complain about this many times, but I will complain about it again. It is very small. It is very small. So I think I'm gonna put all the green shadows on the top lid and then I put the brown just underneath. Like I said, I've not really used this palette, so I, I don't know how it's gonna be. Okay, I'm gonna use the frog. Oh my God, that is very powdery. Oh my god, I'm just gonna use that on here. I wanna use this one on the outer corner. Oh, you know what? Don't do it like this. That is terrible. Oh my god. I mean, you could also be the brush, right? The brush is from the um, Nikkei 3 palette. I'm not feeling this. Oh my god. The kickback you have from this as well. I'm just gonna tap it on now. For whatever reason, I don't even know why I do that. I'm just, I just am. Can you see? The problem is, underneath there is a magnet, so all the shadow just sticks to it. So, right hand mando. 
all the people that baby face as the inner corner highlight. Because I know uh, Angelica Nyquist, I think that's how you said. She always used a pastel color as the inner corner, not always, but often. And I'm like, why am I not doing that? Why do I always play the safe route and go with a shimmer shade in the inner corner? Let's see. Oh my god, this is terrible. Let me use the finger, maybe that helps a bit. Okay, that helps. Oh, okay, that helps actually a lot. I personally am not a big fan of using my fingers to apply shadow. Can you see the amount of fallout that I have? Oof, baby face in the inner corner. If you could read my mind right now, this is just not it, is it? And I'm tapping it on, I'm not even like swiping, I'm just tapping. And I can't even tell you which shade had the most fallout because they all have a lot of fallout. Wow, this is absolutely horrendous. This is... The, I, I don't even know what to say. Let me try to, you know, save this. Now I'm putting shadow on again even though I just cleaned up. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. And keep in mind, like I said, I'm not good with makeup. Okay, never have been, never claimed that I was good with makeup. I cannot be that stupid to not be able to make this work. Because what is this? Like, why is this not showing up the way I want it to show up? Why does it look this lackluster? Huh? You know, if I wouldn't do my how old does in order of when I got them, the oldest palette first, then, you know, to the newest one. I would use this palette next because I don't like it. Which is a shame because it's so cute and all, right? And the color story is gorgeous too, but it's just not performing. I, maybe it's just not performed the way I want it to perform. Right? It could be just me. But I'm not, I'm not throwing this at all. You know, it's, it's weird because you would think that this is a collab, right? With not only Star Wars, but also Disney, because, you know, Disney owns Star Wars, right? You would think that the quality is good. I can't believe that the, the, the mint shade is so weird. So then I'm going to use, I'm actually kind of scared, just like a tattooing, tattooing. Okay, let's see. I mean, compared to the others, this is actually not that bad. It gives just a tiny bit of color. I like that. I even like the green and I like the shimmer, but I do not like that one. Maybe the, the combo of all of these is not great. I'm sure that on its own, the shimmer shade looks amazing. And, you know, this brown here, beige, whatever shade it is, I'm sure that looks nice too. But in combination, this might not be it. Okay, what I'm going to do next might be the best idea or the worst idea. Okay, I, I guess it was the worst idea I've ever had because it is not showing up. I have to press in really hard for this to show up. Oh my god, no. I don't like it. It's my new lipstick by Maybelline in Divine Wine. So smooth. Oh my god. I'm so excited when I get to the um, Howl Dust with this. Like I said, I like the, the color story, I like the packaging, right? But the performance. I don't know, I mean, if you look at it from far away, it does not look that bad, I guess, right? But the closer you get, there was this, and I have glitter all over my cheeks, even though, oh my god, here too. Even though I removed it like three times. I'm really excited to, to get to that. I have glitter here in the other corner. And by glitter, I mean the shimmer one. Not the glitter from the, the khaki color, but the shimmer. So I feel like... With the how will this perform? There might be a lot of shades that I don't like. So, I'm not throw this palette away because I think it just looks absolutely. I have the packaging still. But yeah, uh, I think it's super cute. So, I might keep the palette 
but I might put it into my cosplay drawer and then put the shadows in from other color pop palettes that I liked but weren't the greatest. If you watch the, the series, you know what I mean. I'm actually kind of happy that I didn't try the, the dark shades now. No, well, let's do swatches. Would they feel nice actually? They look nice actually. What? Look how pigmented they are. I can do like a double swatch. I can do a triple swatch? Ah, uh, no, not really. It's still on my finger. I can't believe this. Like, how is it? How? How is the darker shade, or how are the, the two darker shades more pigmented and better looking than the lighter shades? Because usually the darker shades are very patchy and hard to apply and whatnot. I'm just, I'm just very confused. So I will zoom in. Do not judge my makeup skills and do not judge the fact that it's not blended in because I didn't have a blending shade in here. Which also sucks a little, so it's not really a standalone palette, right? Okay, so this is what it looks like. I feel like on its own, all of them would look okay. I mean, this was very patchy when I applied it. This is not showing up. The shimmer shade might be very beautiful and the brown one that you can barely see underneath here might also look nice. I've done a lot of these palette bingo videos, right? And a lot of inspired logs and whatnot. I'm definitely not happy with this one. Do you think this will just be a palette that is pretty to look at but not nice to work with? Did you see the fallout? You know, I felt like I had like half the shadow on my cheek. Crazy. This is like... Wait, I have one, two, three, four, five. The sixth next palette that I will use in a how it does. I mean, I'm currently using one, so I get this seven. Lucky seven again, see? We will see how long it will take me to get to this palette. Because depending on how the others perform, it might be very quickly. I might do two How Does Perform in one month. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Still, you know, even though it... Let me know if you have this palette. Do you have the same problems as me? Or am I just better makeup? I am better makeup, but am I really that bad? So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel already. And it's the next one. Bye.